Hey guys, today I'm going to finish playing a little catch up and do a January and February book haul for you. The first book I have to show you I talked about in my January and February wrap up and that is Noggin by John Corey Whaley. If you want to hear me talk about this book, you can watch my January and February wrap up which I will link down. The next book I got is When by Victoria Laurie. This is a young adult novel about a girl who sees people's death dates written on their forehead when she looks at them. She doesn't know anything about their death or anything like that. She just knows the date that they're going to die. She begrudgingly agrees to tell people's death dates to customers that her mother brings in and then one day there's murder and there's the possibility that she can help solve it. The next book I got is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I also talked about this book in my January and February wrap up if you're interested but it is about a girl whose best friend has committed suicide and her kind of dealing with that. The next book I bought is Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. I've read one other Jeffrey Eugenides book which was The Virgin Suicides which I really really enjoyed so I'm excited to pick this one up. I also got The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood which I'm surprised I haven't read sooner. It basically takes place in a time where women have very limited rights. They're pretty much only valued for making babies. The next book I got is Women by Chloe Caldwell which I also talked about in my wrap up as well as Binary Star by Sarah Gerard and The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. This one's for children, this one's about eating disorders. I also got Falling Into Place by Amy Zang because I'd heard a little bit about it. I believe it's mainly about a girl who commits suicide. I'm not really sure, uh, but I'm excited to read it. I also got A Different Bed Every Time by Jack Jump, 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 which um, is a book of short stories which I'm generally not a huge fan of short stories. The ones that I do tend to pick up tend to be like a little bit weirder or like darker short stories because I find them more interesting. This says, A different bed every time peeks into fairy tales and domestic dramas and the locked up minds of the disturbed for moments so brief you cannot look away. Which sounds like it's right up my alley. The next book I got is The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. This book is a true story. This book is about two zookeepers who saved about 300 people from the Nazis during World War II by hiding refugees in the empty animal cages in their zoo. I had never heard about this until I picked this book up, but I really enjoy reading about the Holocaust and World War II, and so I'm excited to read this one. I also got Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wayne, which is a World War II historical fiction. Surprise. A British spy plane crashes into Nazi-occupied France, but the two girls, two girls who were piloting the plane who are best friends. The next book I got is Gloria O'Brien's History of the Future by A.S. King. I was really excited to read this book because one of A.S. King's other novels, Everybody Sees the Ants, was one of my favorite books that I read last year. This book is about a girl named Gloria who's about to graduate from high school. She doesn't really have any plans for her future. Her mother committed suicide when she was a child and she, and she always just kind of assumed that one day she would commit suicide as well. And then one night her and her friend drink something and they wake up and they can look at people and see their futures. And the last book I bought in January and February is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I love this book. This is one of, this was one of my favorite books that I had to read in school and I just didn't have it so I bought it. That's it for my book haul today. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them and I'll see you guys later. Bye!